um, from the uh, Eagle Dynamics forums and also from the Hoggett subreddit. I just thought I'd give people a bit of an update on what's happening uh, with the app. Some of the new features have been implemented. I know some people are keen to sort of see the progress of this, so I'm going to be posting sort of semi-regular updates so people can get a sense of what's happening. I guess the big news in the latest um, builds I've been pushing out to uh, beta testers is uh, that waypoints now come in waypoint lists. So uh, you can now make uh, your own list, uh, maybe depending on um, whether or not you're running a, a mission or um, maybe you just want to keep separate ones for gore and separate ones for p gore, for example. Uh, then when you go into the list, uh, then you can download uh, uh, custom waypoints or just add your own. So yeah, you can, you can still do them by, uh, by uh, hand or do them uh, by downloading. And they're all stored in, in, in separate lists. Um, the other thing that was asked for is that uh, if you do create a bunch of waypoints and you hit this button to download them all to the jet, they, it does it in the sequence that they appear in the table. So one of the uh, sort of heavily requested features was the ability to be able to move table cells around so that you can also control the order in which these uh, waypoints are loaded into the jet when you press that button. Um, so now if you long hold on a cell, um, it will now move it around uh, so you can change the order. Uh, same works for frequencies too. So frequencies uh, can be moved around with a long hold. Uh, I think that's about it. Um, there is some progress on the UI for smaller screens. So there were some issues with people who had smaller size screens. This is an iPhone 11 simulator at the moment. And the code is coming together for um, uh, transmitting, uh, changing coordinates on the fly so that you can see them um, as you enter them in. The goal of this screen will be to make it as fast and easy as possible for someone to enter in coordinates by hand. So for example, um, when you do create a new one, the first thing it'll do is it'll default to, this should be blank, uh, it'll default to the uh, northing and easting rather than the waypoint name. The thinking being that if someone's reading out a waypoint to you, you want to get the waypoint information in as quickly as possible, and then later you can go and change the, the description to whatever you want. Um, but the most important thing is to get that, that um, a coordinate down as fast as possible, um, and that's what the app is designed to do. It's supposed to give that frictionless uh, easy experience to put in something, have it all converted for you, and then if you want, send it to the jet. Um, uh, I think these are the, that's pretty much everything I've got to share today. Um, I think it was just interesting to, the, the new waypoints list function I think is going to be very useful. These lists can be deleted of course and changed um, to be whatever you want. Um, and also the items inside these things can also be deleted. So it's new waypoint one, obviously. Also, one of the functions that people will maybe not be aware of, rather than having to go into an item and then send it to a jet like this, it is possible to just left or swipe from left to right, send, and then you can choose what airframe you want to send it to. Eventually, I'm hoping to get information back from the sim that will tell me what jet you're in so that we will no longer have to worry about selecting a list of airframes from, uh, from this list. But that's, uh, that could be a, a thing for after release, we'll see. Uh, but it's getting closer and closer. I also haven't implemented a list for frequencies. Um, that might be something that will come in the future, I'm not sure. It seemed a little bit of overkill. I don't know, if you wanna see list for frequencies, um, shout out in the comments <coughs> or in the, uh, the Hogger thread. Uh, thanks for watching.